Hey guys, Duncan Meter here. Welcome back to the channel. We've got something pretty cool today. Uh, this is the Vanquest Fat Pack 7x10 Gen 2. Now real quick, I just want to welcome everyone to the channel. Uh, for anybody that's new that has not tuned in before, this is primarily a firearms channel, but also uh, medical stuff. As I've said uh, for many years on my channel, uh, I am an emergency medical technician. Uh, I have lots of medical training. I work on an ambulance. Uh, so in addition to firearms reviews, I like to do a lot of medical reviews, a lot of medical stuff. Uh, and I think for anybody that uh, obviously participates in uh, shooting activities, sporting clays, uh, hunting, whatever it might be, uh, it always behooves you to have a good medical pack with you. Um, this review today is on the VanQuest bag, and I'm going to go into some details on what's in the bag and why I put it in there. But first, let's just talk about the bag. Once again, this is the VanQuest Fat Pack 7x10. I really like this bag. I've only had it now for maybe a month, uh, but prior to getting this bag, what I had in my vehicle was, was a rather large jump kit. Uh, you know, it's something comparable to what we would have on the ambulance. Uh, there's all different brands. There's Stat Packs, there's uh, Dynamed, all different stuff. But the bags are really large, and when the bag is large, at least for me, I'm less likely to carry it. The Vanquist bag is actually not big at all. Again, it's 7x10, and just so you can see, you know, kind of in comparison here to my hand, it's not a large bag, but the contents are really really good so let's just dive right into this I'm going to tell you what's in the bag why I like the bag uh, and again I switched to this bag from a much larger kit because quite frankly this has everything I need for a major bleed uh, a trauma uh, a minor medical issue you might need some band-aids obviously you can't carry oxygen in here you can't really carry a BP cuff or a stethoscope there are limitations and I, I completely understand and agree with that but for the vast majority of your medical or trauma type issues, bleeding issues, this bag is going to suffice. And if you carry the bag because it's a little bit smaller, you're already ahead of the game. You can have a giant medical kit, but if you don't carry it, it's totally useless. So looking at the bag from the outside, it's pretty cool. We've got a Velcro uh, patch right up here, so you can put your uh, patches on there, whatever you want. We've got some more hook and loop down here. Uh, we've also got some molly attachments down here. We've got some molly attachments on the side. It comes with this piece of Velcro here, which is great for attaching a pair of shears. It's got some more molly on the side here. And hopefully, as you guys can see, I have actually utilized the molly on the side. And I've attached this Vanquest tourniquet holder, which I think works really, really well. Um, I've got a pair of shears in here, and I've got my SAM uh, tourniquet right in here as well. A lot of people use the cat tourniquet. There's nothing wrong with that. I personally am a fan of the SAM tourniquet. Um, I like that ratcheting mechanism. It clicks on tight. You know it's on. It's clicked on. Uh, easy to remove if you need to. We'll go into the SAM tourniquet in a different video. But again, this is the exterior of the bag. In the front pouch right here, I just keep a couple of pairs of gloves because let's be honest, that's the first thing you're going to need are some gloves. I also like on this bag that it comes with some red Velcro. Red is going to tell you right away that it's a medical kit. It also did come with this red Velcro patch. I purchased the medical patch separately. Um, to open the bag, it's pretty easy. There's two zippers on the side here, and this front is hook and loop. So you basically just grab onto this, and you would grab onto the handle, and you would just yank it open. Um, obviously, I'm in a little bit of a confined space here. I don't want stuff falling out all over the place for the purpose of the video. So I'm just going to unzipper it and then pull this tab and the bag opens right up as you can see and then it has this little pouch that folds right out. Um, I think this is really the perfect size bag. I've owned other bags before from competitors such as Maxpedition, uh, some Condor, some lesser known brands, uh, but I, I gotta be honest, I think this Vanquist bag is totally perfect. Uh, for my needs, it is now pretty much the bag that I keep in my vehicle. Uh, when I go camping, when I go hiking, when I go to the range, I take this bag with me. Uh, Vanquist actually makes a slightly smaller bag. I think the dimensions are 6x8 or somewhere in that uh, neighborhood. I might actually pick that bag up uh, and make that my range bag because it can go in, uh, I'm sorry, my range first aid kit because it can go in my range bag. But this is definitely my, my go-to bag for the vehicle. 
Um, looking inside the bag, we have a lot of different stuff here. I'm just going to start with this compartment right here. This is pretty cool. It has two Velcro loops, so you can actually take this and put it on this side of the bag if you want. You can move it down a, a level, you can move it up a level. Uh, it's got a really nice see-through window, uh, so you can kind of see what's in here. And it's a nice zippered pouch. Inside here, I keep two Advil, or two packets of Advil, two packets of aspirin. Uh, I've got two ibuprofen. I've got a little splinter out kit. I've got a bunch of different bandages from knuckle bandages, fabric, uh, your regular adhesive bandages, uh, butterfly bandages, just stuff that you know you may need on a daily basis. Obviously, it, it may not be a major bleed. You may not need to get to the hemostatic gauze, but you just need a couple of band-aids. It's very easily accessible. In this section right here, um, I've got some rolled gauze of various uh, sizes, and then I've got some hemostatic uh, quick clot gauze right here which again, rolled gauze, which I think is, is really important. And I'm gonna do more videos on actually how to use all this equipment, but for the purpose of this video, I just wanna show you the bag uh, and kinda of how things are laid out and why I really genuinely like this bag. Um, moving on into the main compartment, you can see the bag kinda of folds out. Uh, I've got a triangular bandage here, I'm just gonna take out of the way. Uh, it's got a whole bunch of nice elastic loops here so you can put stuff in here. I've got a nice pressure dressing here from North American Rescue. I've got a tiny roll of duct tape. I've got some ammonia inhalants. I've got a pen light. I've got some Neosporin. I've got some medical tape. This is called Sailjet. This is a, a small uh, irrigation solution of uh, sodium chloride. I've got some glucose for diabetic emergencies. And then, you know, down here, it may be a little hard to see on the camera, so forgive me, there's a pretty deep pocket. I've even got a SAM splint, a flat SAM splint in here. I've got some more um, burn dressings. This is actually a PPE kit. It's got an N95, a couple of pairs of gloves. This is, again, from North American Rescue. I think they've got some really cool stuff, uh, and I'm a big fan. I've got a 5x9, actually multiple 5x9s in here. I've got a 4x4. Four uh, I have some water gel burn dressing, some North American rescue burn dressing, and I've got some uh, hemostatic uh, 4x4s. I've also got a red bag in there. Um, I've got some alcohol prep heads in here. Um, I've got some hand sanitizer in here, the small little packets. Uh, I've got some Zyrtec. I have some Benadryl. Um, and like I said, this has got some pretty cool stuff. I even have a wound seal powder in there um, and general bandaging. I'm just looking through my list here to see if I'm forgetting anything. We've got the shears on the outside. We've got the tourniquet on the outside. Um, and then, you know, like I said, some various other uh, bits and pieces. The uh, red bag is, is shoved in this little compartment. But I think this is a great bag for probably 90% of the bleeding issues you're going to encounter uh, or small minor medical issues. Uh, you may have a headache. You may have a splinter. Uh, you know, whatever the case might be, this is going to suffice. Uh, so once again, this is the Vanquist Fat Pack bag. Um, I'm probably going to, like I said, do another review uh, when I pick up another one of their bags. But my main goal was to have a kit that was easily uh, transportable. I don't want to have to carry a giant jump kit because, uh, quite frankly, if I have to carry a giant jump bag, I'm not going to take it. And so then it's totally useless. This bag is, again, in my opinion, a really, really appropriate size, uh, something that I can just clip onto my backpack. Again, it's got Molly straps all over the place. Let me, uh, let me close this up and I'm just gonna show you the back side uh, of the bag again. As you can see, everything fits really nicely in this bag. I, I don't feel like it's bulging. I don't feel like I'm short of space. In fact, I think I could definitely add some more equipment in here if I chose to. Uh, and at some point I probably will add some more equipment. So again, you've got this little pocket in here now, so you could just shove some more stuff in there. But I'm just gonna fold it down and Velcro this. If you look at the back of the bag, there's some Molly straps here, or Molly webbing, so you could easily attach this to a larger, uh, you know, chest rig, plate carrier, whatever you want, uh, your backpack. Uh, you could probably clip this to your belt somehow if you want to. Uh, but it's, in, again, in my opinion, it's just really a good size and so therefore I am more likely to carry this bag and more likely to use the contents. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have questions, uh, please leave it in the comments. Uh, if you've enjoyed this, please, it would really help my channel if you could hit like and subscribe. Uh, I am I'm not sponsored by anybody. I buy these bags on my own. I review them on my own. 
Uh, if anybody were to send me a bag to review, uh, I would obviously let you guys know that, you know, in the interest of full disclosure. And I'm going to be trying to make some more videos here as it relates to safety at the range, what you may want to carry in a range bag first aid kit, uh, how to use all these supplies. Because uh, again, if you're engaged in the shooting sports, uh, such as I am, and probably most of you guys are, it's important that you have some basic first aid knowledge uh, and you're able to treat some injuries, whether they happen at the range, they happen at home, uh, or anywhere in your daily lives. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and check out the next video.